done the 3rd of May. Now we're in our winter wheat small plot herbicide trials. This is the last piece in the jigsaw um, looking at, at good black grass control. The plot I'm in at the moment is one of our untreated plots, but I would stress that this is culturally controlled level of black grass. So we've carried out the right cultivations. We've drilled uh, late and we drilled this field on the 23rd of October. We've gone for high seed rate in excess of 450 seeds in order to get really good competition with the black grass. Throughout the plots, we've then applied uh, herbicide at either two active ingredients or up to four active ingredients. We've put them in as pre-M only, pre and post-M. We've also delayed the second pre-M to when rain arrived so that we're trying to engage those herbicides with their optimum conditions, cool soil, moist soil, slow growing black grass in order to optimize their control. It's on the 3rd of May and we've got black grass that's already popping into head here in these untreated plots. We got the black grass population and culturally controlled down to 60 to 80 plants per square meter, which is the sort of area we really need to be to engage with their herbicides to get maximum control. But we've had a very mild autumn and the black grass plants that we had have produced many, many tillers. Uh, so we'll have lots of ears carrying seed come harvest, which is not very helpful. So what we've seen during our time here from 2010 to 2016 is that growers have increased their spend on herbicides by roughly double in order to control uh, black grass. That's both economically unsustainable, uh, it's also unsustainable from a resistance point of view, but one of the things that we've seen quite clearly is that having talked about all the cultural things we can do, including the right crop in the rotational position, seed rate, drilling date, um, we are highly reliant on that crop to compete with that black grass. So if we take the vigour out of the crop by using too many herbicides, uh, we reduce the overall level of control that we achieve because the vigour of the crop is so important. So what we've done in this trial is looked at how we can engage with lower levels of herbicide on top of the cultural control uh, that we're, we've already achieved prior to herbicide application. So as we move back into the plot behind, we can straight away see the change in the black grass level from the untreated tram line into the tram line I'm in now in this treated plot and the black grass largely disappears. This plot here is just a single application of Liberator. Flufenacet and DFF, two active ingredients, applied pre-emergence, good crop safety and excellent black grass control achieved because we're applying that herbicide at the right time onto the top of culturally controlled low level black grass numbers and the herbicide is able to give us very high levels of control. That Liberator has given us about 88% control in here, which not good enough for long-term control, but remember it's only one product. So we've gone from a multi-way stack down to one application of a product, and we can start to selectively build our stacks on top of that. Down through the plots, we've applied one or two extra active ingredients to that Liberator, and we are achieving almost 100% control in some of these plots. So we're really getting on top of this weed problem now by proper cultural control all the way through the rotation, every crop we're in, and then applying our residual herbicides at the right time and the optimum position for them to give maximum control.